Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel and for all my new subscribers, I'm Natalia Suri. I do everything related to books from author interviews, book recommendations, book reviews. You'll find historical, mythological and cultural mysteries plus my sessions with voodoo practitioners, tantrics and witches. What are we going to do today? I have five book recommendations by Indian authors. So let us start. My first book recommendation is The Class of 83, The Punishers of Mumbai Police by S. Hussein Zaidi. Now, what is so special about this book? Literally, after writing 10 books on gangsters, mafias, dons, Mr. Zaidi has written this book on cops. Now, Mr. Pradeep Sharma, the encounter specialist, is the main hero of this book. Now, what are the other features of this book you will find the nuances of how the police works plus what is so special about this book is that you will go inside Mumbai when it was ruled by David Ibrahim, Ch uh, Chota Rajan, Iqbal Kaskar. So this book will take you into the class or batch of 83 uh, the police uh, training school where it was trained by a man called Arvind Inamdar. Now he trained a group of uh, policemen who turned out to be encounter specialists. Now Pradeep Sharma the man on behind whom this book is written. Uh, this book will also give you an insight into his life that for two and a half decades he literally spent his life catching gangsters and how everything turned. And he, had, he was sent to the same jail where he had caught these men and to stay with those men and then how he won his honor back and got reinstated uh, into the police department again. So it is a very very interesting read especially for the ones who like the dons, the mafias, the police you would find this book extremely, extremely interesting. So guys, my second book recommendation is Narcopolis by Jeet Tahil. Now it's a book which deals with the drug mafia, the drugs of Mumbai. Now this book will uh, tell, not only take you into the world of drugs, mafias, but also when you read this book, there are other instances where the character keeps jumping into hallucinations because of the opium present. Now, this book is not basically meant for everyone. The writer was a is a poet, so his influence of poetry is seen in this book. It has got the drug scenes of Mumbai plus a narrative, which is basically uh, infused with poetry. So if you like all that stuff, um, then you must read this book. My third recommendation is a Chanakya Strand by Ashwin Sanghi. As the name suggests, it's a political thriller. It's an amazing political thriller retelling the political tactics of uh, Janakya to make Chandragupta the ruler of Magda. The book narrates two parallel stories occurring in two different eras. One is of the past and one is of the present. First story is of Janakya who wants to avenge the, his father's death and make Chandragupta the ruler of United India. The second story is of Ganga Sagar who wants to make Chandi Gupta the Prime Minister. Now Ganga Sagar has been portrayed as the shrewd current day Janakya. So it's a parallel story of the past Janakya and the current day Janakya, which was really, really interesting. My third recommendation is the Janakya's chant. So guys, my fourth book recommendation is Private Delhi by Ashwin Sanghi and James Patterson. The whole book starts where two lovers finding an hidden patch land up in a basement where barrels are full of acid and human remains. The girl hysterically shouts and runs out on the road and the neighbor sees it. That is the trigger which starts this whole novel. An interesting hook which I really thought. This book is full of police, powerful politicians, businessmen, but the common link is that serial killer who collects human organs. So it's an extremely, extremely nice book. If you like psychological thrillers, those dark thrillers, you would really enjoy reading this book, especially the one which is set in Delhi with the Parathiwali Gali, the red boat, everything you will find in this book. So if you are really a Delhi person who enjoys Delhi and wants to read a thriller which is set in Delhi, this is my fourth recommendation. Guys, my last recommendation is Cut Like Moon by Anita Nair. It is the first night of Ramadan in Shivaji Nagar in Bangalore and a prostitute is killed and burnt alive. It would have remained an unsolved murder like that many others but for Inspector Bore Gora, I hope I pronounced the name right, Bore Gora, uh, the 
my body keep piling up and it becomes the work of a serial killer boregora recognizes a pattern in these serial killings which nobody else recognizes even as he negotiates his midlife blues with his wife his girlfriend his son the killer moves in for the next victim set in the city of bangalore cut like moon moves through the city it is a psychological thriller if you like again those dark no- novels with those dark thrillers then this is another recommendation which i have an indian inspector who's trying to solve a crime scene and the serial killer what he is after now uh, guys these were my five book recommendations do tell me how did you find the recommendations do tune in in my next show which i'll be posting in very soon and yes don't forget to press, press that subscribe button it is always encouraging to see those figures going up plus you must take care of your health and keep smiling and before i go as usual i'd like to remind you of my blog www.nataliasuri.com where i post in uh, articles not only in religious mysteries plus those articles which you'll read and laugh till you drop so do check out those articles like you know what i suffer from vampire hours and i'm not going to tell you more about it you need to check my blog why do i suffer by vampire hours and how does that affect the economy of the world so do check out that blog i repeat it www.nataliasuri.com and yes don't forget to smile because you look beautiful when you smile take care see you soon bye